Regina Sumta, Selwood House, LCC, and Leola for hosting the playoffs last weekend and this weekend. Thank everybody, but... I'd also like to take the opportunity to take them to recognize the people who have organized this fantastic final and the league itself. Crystal Pearl from Selwood House, Marco Deshane from CRA, Chris Pio huh. from LCC, and Phil LaFay from Leola. Thank you. That was one of the most thrilling finals I have it's ever also seen. To this the is a at all classic. Who give up their time, the time away from their families, and the commitment that they make does not go unnoticed. Thank you to them as well. Whoa. <laughs> I'd like to invite the head coaches for both teams to come forward and present the medals to their players. Chris LaPearl, the first coach since Steve Mitchell to win a championship for Loyola. After someone else saw so. There were many heroes in today's game. Since I'm at LCC, I'm not allowed to step on the ice, but that's Eric Shermandy. He was a beast on defense today. We're going to give him the Robert Gordon Award this year as the best defenseman in the league. The coach of the year this year will be Chris LaPearl. Since he, his team won it, that's who I give it to every year. Jordan Buzner was amazing in overtime. A lot of good players stepped forward and... Unbelievable. <laughs> Last time Sullivan won was 1994. And, <laughs> they're a happy bunch of players, let me tell you. There's Witkowski's shirt. A gutty, gritty performance by Solenhaus. They showed plenty of gravitas and veritas in this victory. <laughs> Fans are outstanding here. <laughs> we will go for a post-game show in the dressing room. We'll see how Get maybe a few interviews. Are you going to have the whole video? Oh yes, started? it's going to be on the Griffins Hockey Network. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You can film though, it's okay. Uh, we'll be... Very happy the team rallied around Alex Lutkowski. Found a way to win this game. Thank you very much. Give them some air time. They were amazing, this crowd yesterday. <laughs> I am just stunned here. I can't believe someone else pulled this game off. I found out the news two hours before the game that Lakowski wasn't playing, and believe me, I, ha I have to go to my truck and just relax. But I'm so happy for Jordan Buzner. I can't even feel my fingers anymore. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Jordan Buzner was amazing. All the defenders were really amazing. Yeah. Alexi Dikranian. Amazing performance. Alex Slatkowski had a great year as well. Oh, there's Hunter Barrio, really. He showed great leadership, scoring that desperation goal with 16 and a half seconds to go. Malcolm Skeet played very well as well too today. Malcolm Skeet left Cooper. After he was cut by Cooper in grade 10, he wasn't happy. He came to Sullivan House and he got his championship. that Cooper let him go and now he gets the last yeah. laugh. Yeah. He won the Robert Gordon Award. Yeah.
Jordan Bosner. What a great acquisition by Chris LaPearl from Cooper Academy. He was bullied out of Cooper, but he came here to sell when he found peace in Westmount. Oh, is he happy or what? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I wanted to see Solar win this championship. You know from Loyola High School. How about that? I, uh, I wish I'd be on the ice, but they don't let me go on the ice here. <laughs> Great game, Dave. I mean, I say great game, game. So many heroes for uh, Solon House today. I think all the players played great. There we go. Turn it over here, Eric. Yeah, that's it. Chris LaPearl, Mark Giroux, the coaches, the architects. it was here tonight. It was a true rush for the senses game. Mm. We'll be talking about this game for years. I drew, the day Selwyn House acquired Buzzner, I started dreaming about a championship. And, uh, <laughs> Buzzner always came through. I love Jordan Buzzner for that reason. We're gonna go to the uh, dressing room. There's your time remaining. That's, that's the time of the goal. Five, four, four, forty-four seconds. Hunter Burial's goal is still incredible. I thought Selwyn was in deep trouble with that goal by Meisner. But no, they came back. This coach, this headmaster Helen Hanford. Plenty of pictures here. I think he wants a team picture, yeah. We're going to try and get some post-game interviews. So we'll be packing up our gear and heading for the dressing room. There's Buzzner, yeah. Oh, some flowers for... There's his father, Harold. Proud moment it is for his father Harold. Yeah, yeah. Good play there. And Mr. Barrio once, once again comes to the rescue. The, the unlikely hero today was Hunter Barrio. And there's his father. So this sweetheart, I think this is, this, that is sweet. Jordan Buzner, that's his third championship in three years. A key acquisition. The day I started Buzner on the lineup of Selwyn House, I started to dream and believe that they can pull this miracle. You can say this was a miracle on ice game. You can say many ways, shape and form. Enjoy your moment. We can clean the ice, no problem. <laughs> There's Coach Mike Morovich. But he's a happy camper, Mike Morovich, the athletic director. Give Mike Morovich a lot of credit. He's the one who hired Chris LaPearl. There he is, Chris LaPearl. He's won three national champions at the NCAA level. I always thought he was a Herb Brooks kind of coach, and he, he certainly pulled off one hockey miracle here tonight. It's been an amazing day for Selwyn House. Their Pee Wee two, Division two, D2 also won a championship today. Well, I think we can say this is uh, Selwyn House's best day in their hockey history. Mike Morovich all smiles there. He's got a great smile. Mike Morovich has a lot of aura and presence. As soon as you hear him, there he is. He is the best athletic director in the uh, in high school hockey, I can tell you that. 
There's Marcus Massoud who came as the backup in today's game. It was quite the blur when Lapaev scored. Okay, Mike, Mike Morovich. So we'll take a media timeout. We'll head for the dressing room, maybe get some interviews here on the Griffins Hockey Network with the final score. Selwyn 5, Loyola 4 in double overtime. The hero, and there were many heroes, but the game winning goal is by Joe Lepage. So don't go away. We're going to head for the dressing room, maybe pick up some interviews.